Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So you guys ask for this and ask and you shall receive. I am doing a haul for my Sephora VIB order. I also have a few things that I did purchase off of Ulta as well, so I'll just sneak that into the video. But if you guys are interested in seeing what I bought from the Sephora VIB sale, then just keep watching. So about last week I posted my Sephora VIB recommendations and I will link that down below and up in the cards but a lot of you asked to see my haul and what's actually really funny is I don't participate in the VIB sale that often I normally will pick up like one or two things but I never pick up a bunch for some reason I just don't but this time I feel like I went all out this is the most I think I've ever purchased from a VIB sale so I'm just gonna get straight into it I think I actually only purchased one thing <laughs> that I recommended in my whole video, which is kind of funny. But I did end up picking up the Sultry palette. You guys convinced me, so thank you so much. You guys are the reason that I decided to go ahead and buy it, and I just wanna say thank you. You are right. This is way prettier in person. The colors just look pretty plain to me when I first saw this palette, and I was like, I don't need it, I don't need it, I don't need it. The only reason I want it is for the packaging. But honestly, on the eyes, this is so gorgeous, and this is such a good everyday palette. This is definitely a palette I can see myself reaching for and not having any problems creating a look for every day and it's going to look great and I mean the packaging so yes I did pick up the sultry palette I caved and it looks great with all my other palettes so so far I'm not disappointed I will update you guys as I continue to use it more all right this one was a huge splurge I think it's originally like $150 I bought it with the intentions that if I don't like it I'm just going to return it I just wanted to like see this in person and own it for a little bit at least to really get that full experience but this is the Tom Ford Soleil eye and cheek palette and I got the cool tone one they had like a warm tone one so look it comes in this little fancy pouch I don't own too much from Tom Ford I'm not a huge Tom Ford fan but I just like I don't know anyways this is what the palette looks like I mean this is me in a palette I think it's personally I think it's way prettier than the other one that they had the warm tone this highlighter is amazing these two colors are very very sheer um, they're supposed to be but you know this palette's kind of hella expensive for what it is I'm not sure if I'm going to return it yet or give it to my mom it's really really nice but it's also <laughs> a lot of money so all right so Kelsey Brianna J and then Mel Thompson they are awesome youtubers they do a lot of similar videos to me but like way better and way more products they convinced me to pick this palette up, the Kevin Aquan Nude Pop. I'd only heard good things about this palette, so I went ahead and picked it up because it's totally my color scheme. It's these beautiful mauve purples, and they said it was awesome. Um, I really need to play with it. I've only swatched it, so I don't have too much to say about it yet. But I can see myself creating some gorgeous looks that I'm going to love with this palette. I just gotta play with it some more but I don't know how I feel about this packaging it's really cool but I also picked up a lipstick from NARS I don't know what overtook my body when I added this to my basket because <laughs> God knows I need another lipstick but this is the shade Barbara and it's a it's it's a pinky nude um it's really pretty did I need it absolutely not but it was 20% off um I love the NARS packaging and their formula is super good like I said I don't know what possessed me to put that in my basket but nonetheless I added it and I like it so I also got the Too Faced Born This Way concealer I've been eyeing this for a while I got it in the shade light beige I finally just bit the bullet and do it because I've been looking at it for so long I like how fat the packaging is and I'm on the search for my perfect concealer. For some reason, the Maybelline Fit Me is just not doing it for me anymore. I just want to experiment more with concealers. So I thought I'd give this one a try. I'm not a huge, huge fan of Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I know everybody else loves it, but for some reason, it doesn't it doesn't do anything for me. Um, I, I keep trying to love it every time I use it, but I just don't. So I'm trying that one out. And I also picked up the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I don't know if this is my shade. Hopefully it is. I haven't swatched it. But this is N2. It looks, or 2N. It looks very yellow. And I remember when this came out, a lot of people were talking about it. And I just figured, 
why not? I'll give it a try. I can always return it if I don't like it, but I did pick this up. These were definitely impulse purchases for me. I've been avoiding wanting to buy these. I've just been like turning my nose every time I saw them just because I was like, I don't need that. I don't need that. But something possessed me again and I just added these to my cart. Um, I got two of the Huda Beauty little mini obsessions palette. I have a couple of the, I have like a warm one and then their smoky one and I do love them, but they aren't made in the US, they're made in China. So, I don't know. I finally, I don't know, I was just possessed. I added them to my cart and here they are in my hands. So, this one is the amethyst one. I mean, look at that. Isn't this so incredibly stunning? I can create so many, go oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I haven't even swatched these yet and I'm like, I also got emerald because all the looks everybody's been creating with these have been so stunning. This middle color right here, oh my. Is this an everyday palette for me? Absolutely not. Did I waste my money? Probably. Will I ever use this? Not often. But I don't know, I just love these. I love how tiny they are. I just, I love their color themes. Even the older ones and the more boring ones, like I still really, really like those. So I'm happy I got these. I, I don't know. Um, actually, okay, that's all I got from Sephora. I feel like I went through that really fast, but I actually, like I got a lot of products. I'm not one to buy a bunch of things at once. I usually will pick up one or two things at a time, especially with Sephora because they have free shipping. I'll just pick up one or two things and it kind of accumulated to the collection that I have now. So I don't do large hauls. So this is pretty large for me. Um, I also did make an order off of Ulta because they have an amazing reward system. I actually prefer to purchase from Ulta instead of Sephora because Ulta has a much better reward system. You get actual money back for what you purchase and then you can get a bunch of makeup for free. So this entire order I made off of Ulta, I didn't pay a cent for. So I love Sephora, but Ulta is awesome. Like if you can get it from Ulta, I would recommend it. And they were having 20% off as well. So um, I got a lot of lashes. So the first one I got was the House of Lashes Iconic. Um, these are like an oldie. Back in the day, everybody loved these and I just feel like I missed out on that. And so I just ordered them. Looking at them, I don't know how I feel about them. I'm gonna have to see them on. I don't know that they're my cup of tea when it comes to lashes, but we will see. I also picked up just a pack of uh, Demi Wispies and Wispies for my makeup kit. I do other people's makeup, that's boring. These two are also boring for my makeup kit. A uh, new MAC Pro Longwear Fluid Line. Somebody told me that the Maybelline, the Tattoo Studio Gel Eyeliner was amazing for their makeup kit. They loved it, it worked great on everybody. I bought it. It smudges and it transfers on everybody. I'm just not about it. I'm a fluid line kind of girl, so I picked this up for my kit. I wanted a nice new fresh eyeliner. I also picked up the Morphe M33, which is kind of like, it's like a fat eyeliner brush. I don't know, it's only a couple bucks. I don't know why I bought that, but I wanted it. I love Lily Lashes, by the way. Uh, but they are so expensive. These are like $30, but these are the, I was about to call them the faux make style, but these are the faux make style, but in the style con. Con has been my favorite go-to lash, but I think the first pair that I had, they were mink because these look a little different to me. And normally between the mink and the faux mink, they kind of look the same. These look totally different to me. Because these are my original, I don't know if it's because these are worn, but these are my original cons, and the bottom is the new cons. It's not even showing, but they look really different to me, so I'm like, I'm very confused right now. I'm actually about to be really sad, because these do not look like my first pair of cons. Anyways. Oh, okay. So, the last thing I bought is from Dose of Colors. It's from the Katie and Desi line. And I just thought this was a gorgeous little nude color. I got the My Main Velvet Lip Thingamabobber. Yeah, I'm trying to swatch it for you. Yeah, I just think it's a really gorge nude. Did I need it? No. What really pushed me to buy this though was that it's the velvet kind and not the actual liquid lipstick kind because I don't really care for liquid lipsticks. I mean, I do like them and I use them pretty regularly, 
but at the end of the day, if I can get a velvet formula over a liquid lipstick formula, I would prefer that because I love the color pigmentation that you get from liquid lipsticks, but if I can get it to be more comfortable and easier to layer, I will go for the velvet formula. In case you're curious, I actually picked up the palette for the Katie Desi collection when it first came out and it is sitting in my palette collection over there waiting to be used. I have been so busy, I haven't even had time to use it yet. So eventually, who knows when, because I've had it for like a month and then some, a look on that palette will be up. Um, this palette I use in case you're curious is my Pat McGrath little guy. Um, that video is coming up very soon as well. I've been trying to do a look a day, but I've been very busy. So it's turned out to be I'm doing one look every other day and eventually it will become a cumulative video. So just work with me. Anyways, that is my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed what I purchased. I hope you guys enjoyed my first haul. Remember to subscribe to my channel and do all that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.